Alright guys, uh, day after we got it running, it is currently 2.25 and we have a tire appointment at 4.45. So we need to get all four tires off of this vehicle and into the back of the van to get brought down to the tire shop to get balanced. So, uh, we'll start. Yeah, I think it's like 35 degrees. That lifter noise is gone. Sticky lifter. And then I bet you the heat cycle freed it up. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds good. There's no noise. Needs a different muffler put on it, which I, uh, I, uh, I have. I have a brand new one. I got out of the junkyard. I actually got it for my, my 93. I, I was looking, I don't know if it was like a 93 or a 4 or what, but I was looking under it, a brand new exhaust on like, like no miles, no rust, no water. It was brand new. And I got it for like 8 bucks, the, the whole muffler. So, and it'll fit this one. So I'm going to put it on this one. Anyway, we're going to pull the van forward onto some solid ice there. And I'm going to block the rear tire so I can jack up the front. And then I'm going to take one of these tires off. And then we're going to, these guys are going to come in handy. We're going to see which ones, which four take air. I'm going to take a tire off, put one of those beaters on it. So then I can get that tire out and I don't have to like put it on flimsy jack stands on this ground. Not that the jack stands are flimsy. It's like I don't trust this ground right now with how soft it's getting. So yeah, we're gonna do one tire, put an old one on, do another tire, put an old one on, and then I'm gonna back it up and put the back tires up here and then do the same thing. So we're gonna do that real quick, so I'm gonna pull it forward. Yeah, that sounds good. Yep, sticky lifter. Oil pressure looks good charging fuel tank or fuel gauge has gone down just a hair so that's working properly rpms look great so cool 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 all right we're gonna get started on this get the car jacked up quick all right air compressor is ready to go um i got the trim ring pulled off of this tire i'm just having a quick look here Rotor's got some little bit of wear, not bad. Um, yeah, not bad. We're gonna probably get the impact and impact these off. Let's find a good jacking point. Let's see what we got down here. Let's go right there. gonna take it off the ground just yet. I'm gonna go get the impact on a three-quarter inch socket. All right, hopefully this guy does a trick. Cover your ears. I thought so. They might be seized on there. Take two. Oh, this is. Oh, and those ones are gonna be bigger. That's why I brought a. All right, I'm gonna go get the. I'm gonna do it by hand because this is gonna go poorly. Those were on tight. Those were on tight. Cracked them loose with my four-way though. Let's see if we can get this to. Sometimes I can just get them to spin off. Ooh, that's a little... Sorry. It's a little stripped. It's not bad. Grooved in anyway. Let's see if I can balance it here. 
Sometimes I can get them to spin off a little bit. Not bad. Yeah, there's a lot of tension on them. Fast forward. They definitely got their mileage out of those lug nuts. I think we're going to replace them. They, they don't match anyway. Some of them are missing the chrome caps. So I think we're going to get all new lug nuts. They're pretty grooved. And I've had them... I've had a shop strip them out so bad on the ends here that it caused a severe shake. Oh, that tire came right off. All right, let's look at the brakes. Uh, there's some material left there. Can't really see that inside pad too well, but there's a little bit of pad left on the outside. My, I can't tell if the sliders are stuck or not. Hmm. Uh, this rotor is grooved as hell. Uh huh. Probably shouldn't be able to do that. It's ripped. That joint's ripped. It's going to wear out at some point. Um, honestly, it needs new brakes and new ball joints. I mean, this is okay enough to run it for now, but you can tell that shielding's coming off. It's better been on there for a long time, but they're good enough for, for now. Boots aren't torn the CV axle, that's good. Yeah, probably tie rod ends, brakes, we'll do that this summer, I think. But, uh, tires off, so that's win number one. Any dings or dents in it? I don't, don't see any. Looks okay. Alright, let's get him off. One is our unlucky tire. This guy down here that has fallen off. That looks like a good candidate. Oh, hopefully this takes here and doesn't blow up in my face. Ooh, just spare uh, well, stem covers. That's about all I'm willing to put in it. Okay. Somehow I must have spilled some sidewalk salt on it. I can hear it leaking. I think you're on that bead right there. Whatever, we'll just work fast. Going for close here, guys. This battery fits loosely in the. Yeah, that's, I knew that was the wrong size, guys. See, like the three-quarter doesn't fit these because they're expanded, but it'll fit this one. 
I think it's a 19 millimeter that fits that actually. It's leaking up in here somewhere. I can hear it. That's scary. Can I? No? Maybe? Whatever. Like I said, we're just. Don't even, I don't even want them on there They're tight. I just want them on there enough so I can lower the vehicle to the ground, which there's three, that's enough. I want to put the other two up here by our trim ring where we'll lose them. And uh, let's bring this. One, I'm gonna do that three more times without you because um, you slowed me down. Sorry, not sorry. And we'll end up with four of these. I don't trust the tire shop to not damage those, so I'll probably take those off, we'll see. It's two eight millimeters on the back. But we're gonna get all four of those off and prepped. These two, I just need to put some air in to make sure they got the right PSI and they're not leaking around the, um, the bead. And then I'll get the back to it. Uh, I gotta beat those off real quick and get them changed. Guys, way too many Ooga Doogas. Look at that. This was worse than the driver's side. This was passenger front. <laughs> that one's not too bad. That one's that one's okay. I would I would pass that one. Eh, questionable. Bad. These those three are this one. Look at look at look at that. Yeah. You guys and your impacts. Holy crap. This brake looks considerably better. The surface is smooth on both sides. Here if you can kind of... Yeah, this one's a lot better. In fact, pads are new. Can you, can you see that for me? Not really. You really can't see that back one. Here, you can see it over here. Kinda, yeah. Anyway, pads are pads are new on this side, but this rotor is getting pretty. It's pretty thin, guys. Um, I can do the same with this. No back and forth play, though. Oh, this oh, this rotor's been off. Yeah, probably with the new pads, it's not seized to the hub. So. Yeah, this side's better, but yeah, it needs to be done. Probably. I'd rather have new brakes on them than I don't have to touch them again. And then we got our tire off, so. Can we. Can I get this trim ring off with my hands? There it goes. Just little, little moves. There it goes. Almost get my hands under it. Anyway, I just wanted to show you that and those. All right, so who caught that the first tire I just put on there on the driver's front doesn't uh, clear the brakes? I didn't until I was getting ready to move it. So uh, we're hoping the spare comes down, and I think it is. So, because I, uh, I need a tire on the front so I can back it in. I only need, out of all those tires, I had one that fits and took air. Well, would even be possible to take care of, so we're hoping this guy I can put on the driver's side. And that way I can back the vehicle up. Cause I can I can leave the back on jack stands. I just need to be able to put the back tires on a solid ground. I think we're on the ground. I can't believe that actually worked and wasn't froze up. Oh yeah, we're on the ground. Come here, buddy. Good time to shine. I'm gonna throw you over there. I fiddle with this. Oh, and this is one of those fucking red tires. 
so they did come with this vehicle. The red ones did. The other, the other ones that aren't red, I don't know where they came from, but. Huh. Yeah, it's another one of those. It's got air in it. Yeah, that one honestly doesn't look too bad. What's the date code? Now we're, now we're curious. The Advantage Plus. DOT code, DOT code. We don't have time to look for DOT code, but I'm looking at it. 52nd week of 91. Right? 521? Or is this one it right here? And it would be second week of 04. It might be this one. I would think it's that one, but it might be that. Uh, anyway, it's holding air, so mission successful so we have a full we have a set of five of these red ones which the red ones is what on is on the passenger side that will clear the brake calipers in the front oh no rad fan just kicked on i heard it all right i'm gonna put this on quick because i'm losing time all right we got them we got all four um i've got like 25 30 minutes to beat these two down and put new ones on them so I'll show you how I do that another day. If I wasn't in such a time crunch, I'd show you now. But we are because you know. So I'll, uh, you get the finished product. Boom. All right, guys, so I'm kind of just eyeballing the brakes on the passenger side and kind of just looking under here, you know, getting an assessment of how much Bondo is in this wheel arch. But uh, this guy fell out as soon as I popped the drum off, so no wonder the drum fell off so easy because the adjuster doesn't work. So needs a new spring kit for sure. But let's kind of look in here. And I know they, they they'd done the brakes not too like they'd done it at some point like that's a new wheel cylinder that's not a that, I don't think that's factory wheel cylinder and pads got some life in them still they're not that bad but I was looking here and I'm like what the hell is this so they've got duct tape on these brake lines and under the duct tape they filled it with grease and it like worked as a rust preventative measure. Look at that, like, that's steel still. I mean, I would use copper brake lines, it just, that'd been the end of it, but... And then you can see how rusty it is where they, where they didn't do that. Too bad. Well, yeah, way too bad. But, yeah. So that was, that's, it's kind of a neat rust prevent measure. Also, the, uh, the clips for the shackle, they're, uh, they're all rotted out on all of them. That one's... Oh, probably the best one on it. This one's eh, it's eh, not hanging on by much. And there's one over there on the other side that's gone. So that's that's gonna need to be addressed. Um, I'm gonna probably have to bend new lines for the rear. Looking at that. So it's at some point soon. It's gonna need a probably a full brake job. So that's cool. And then I think this. Wheel bearing makes a little bit of noise. I'm gonna pop this dust cap off and kind of see what it looks like under there. The other one sounded okay, but you know. So I think this thing was running red brakes or these those these red wheels at some point because this cap's got that red, same red paint on it, and the drums have some weird red paint on them too. I mean, that doesn't match, but they definitely had this bad boy running the, this set of, uh, uh, like, maroon purple rims. And considering the spare was the same one, you know, that's kind of cool. Let's see if I can't pop that off. Come okay, winning.
Just using the tool I've got available, okay? I'm just kind of barely just tapping on it. Can I? Yeah, this bearing's got a little bit of play in it. I mean, this one's adjustable, so I don't know how much we can take out of that. Come on. There we go. Yeah, there's... It's supposed to have a little bit of grease in there, you know? Yeah, I mean, the bearings get grease in it. I could see it's... I'm just gonna probably just scoop a little bit in here and kind of shove it in there just to keep it going for now. I'll probably pack the, repack these bearings when I do the brakes, but I'm not gonna drive it very much, if any, before I do the brakes. Nothing more than a few test drives and whatnot. Yeah, add a little bit at least to keep her going. So anyway, I thought I thought that was cool, the rust preventative on the brake lines. So yeah. Anyway, we're getting we're getting the tires on. Alright guys, so we got all the tires on. So I found something weird about them. Not necessarily weird, but it kinda tells a story. So three of the rims originally were like a tan color. And we've got three matching trim rings and all of that. One of them was black on the inside and we have one different trim ring and that matches with uh being in a collision in the front left side so when they got in that collision i think they destroyed one of the tires and then it got obviously it got replaced with a, a remanufactured one that was painted black because it's the same spokes i guess same style of rim yeah, it must have been a pretty bad collision because I know the control arm's different. Uh, I know the fender's different. Uh, I think the headlight bezel's all different. The headlight's different. And we had a different rim, different trim ring. Yeah, she got smoked pretty good, I think. And I do know there's some kinking under the fender, like where the fender bolts to it's been cobbled together a little bit. Anyway, we got our two nice used old front tires in the back and then we got our brand new ones up front i was able to find 16 of the 20 lug nuts to replace them so i put four on each and then i found the best four of the used ones for now and i put them on here i'm gonna have to find another four more lug nuts because it'll bother me that one doesn't match anyway So we got her here. I think I'm gonna check all the fluids, make sure everything's topped up. I'm gonna take it for a little ride. Now that we've got tires I can trust on it, we got brakes, it drives. I'd feel good going down the road just a little bit anyway. I mean, I don't wanna go too far cause I'm missing a headlight bezel and a tail light bezel. So we're just gonna take a quick loop. I think tomorrow we'll tackle getting all, all of the running lights to work and that way you can go down the road, no problem. I do got to get the uh, mounting piece for the rear view mirror because I don't have a mounting piece. I did get a mirror at the scrapyard. So I'll pick that up probably with the other four lug nuts after work. But yeah. Get this hood up. Here, you guys are gonna volunteer. Okay. 
So, engine oil. It's got it. That'll work for me. Coolant's the one I wanted to check because I. It, actually, it's full. I figured it would have burped some down. Nope, she's good. And I know it's got trans fluid. I added half a quart to it. Power steering's at the uh, bottom full mark, so we'll run that. And then I think I want to. There we go. Hey guys, look, you can see. That uh, that helps a lot. Uh, yeah, see, it's bottom full mark, so we're gonna run that. That'll be fine. Playing in the reservoir. Got oil on the dipstick, so we're okay with that for now. And then I stuck my finger in here to check this, and it's right, it's in there, so I'm gonna call that full. And then brake fluid. It's full. Washer fluid present. Coolant's a little low in the overflow. I'll top this. I'm gonna top this up. Hi, Henry. And then I don't think. That was fueling. This was power steering overflowing here. Is what this leakage was when it uh, gurgled out when I had it first filled. Belts all look good. We're on everything. So I don't see any like super leakages, you know, nothing obscene anyway. Rail looks. You know, the intake down here looks dry, so I don't think our rail's leaking at all. Which is fantastic news. That's always a good thing. It looks good to me. I want to get some coolant. I want to take it for a ride, and I'll... Uh, I don't know. I'll, I might bring it back by not. If nothing eventful happens, I probably won't. Pile of tires. Uh captain's log. I got carried away and I, uh, I put 30 miles on it. Uh, oil pressure's good. It runs up in here. Higher than it is when it's going down the road, but there's some electrical gremlins in this dash. Uh, alternator's charging. We got fuel. I, uh, I made a mistake. two things. Either that thermostat I reused is stuck open or it's a uh, 165 thermostat. Anyway, it, when we're running down the road, she's running cool, which is not bad, but it's bad when uh, your passenger window motor is bad and then you roll down your driver one to adjust the mirror that's stuck facing down and the driver window sticks open. Anyway, it was a little chilly of a ride. It wasn't bad. It's, I mean, it's blowing lukewarm heat. Now that I'm sitting here, it's hot because it's idling. But uh, radio works good. Despite the steering wheel being at this funny angle, it goes down the road straight, and it doesn't pull, doesn't nothing. It, it drives down the road great. I mean, it drives like a brick, but it drives great. A very nice brick. Now we just need to make it look like one. I see that oil gauge is kind of just bouncing. I don't think it's actually that low, which, I mean, it's not bad where it's at, but I think it's higher than that in reality. Yeah, I think that gauge is funny. Also, it needs a... I need to put that muffler on it. Kind of deaf between the the fan all the way up and the window stuck down and that muffler blowing at me at 65 miles an hour. Anyway, uh, it, it it does run good. It drives great. Uh, no shake in the wheels, so all the stuff that we did do, we did do right, because that all works. Now I just need to fix the things that don't work, like the uh, 
not having the only mirror I've got that's any good is the passenger one. Don't have the top one, and we uh, that one points at the ground. And uh, what else? Muffler, and then getting heat to where it you know is warm in here is cool too. Not that I'll, I mean, I'm not gonna be driving it in the winter. It'll be parked in the winter like the rest of them. But it gets cool in the spring and the fall. I think we're doing pretty good. I'm happy. I'm happy with it. Did 30 miles, no issues. So, there you go. We got tail lights now. Even the license plate lights work. I didn't even touch those. I figured they'd be burned up. I saw this online. It was, I don't remember what it was from, but I, I had to have it because uh, that makes perfect sense for this vehicle. I think this was like, like the fifth or fourth most turned in vehicle all time for cash for clunkers which is a big part of the reason why none of them exist anymore so I figured that was fitting so I got lights everywhere I need them now so it kind of feels almost roadworthy if you will radiator fans getting quieter it's almost clearing itself now So, I kind of take it for a little little cruise. See how she does anyway. Also, with my windows that are actually kind of sealed now, might keep some heat in here. Even with that thermostat being like it is, it's so much warmer in here, you know, just right now. Oh, let's see if I can get my, I'm trying to get my seatbelt in here. Need to figure out, I need to remember how to set the time on these. I never remember how to set the time on them. Actually, let's see. I think you have to hold two, there's two buttons you have to hold and your hours and minutes will start flashing. Well, I know it's select. Something with a set button, you have to like click and hold something else. I don't, I don't remember. Spoilers, all my favorite radio stations. Radio signal's kind of poor. Kind of charging. Got gas. Got heat. Got oil pressure. I'll take this bad boy for a cruise. Uh, door ajar lights on. We don't have any doors ajar. I'll tell you that much. Now it's off. All right. 
that gauge or lights on. I don't think it's supposed to be. Like if I, oh look, it's off now. Oh, look at the lights. I kept the preset that was with the the uh, the bezels or yeah, like the mounting bezels for the headlights. I kept that preset. So I, I think they need to come down a little bit, but the, oh, they they go down the road actually. That's fun. And I'm gonna let you guys. Well, here, I'll let you stick around. Oh, that light kind of just flashed on and off. Oh, now it's off. Now it's back on. Now it's off. Yeah, weird. Your door jar lights coming on and off. body spray or spraying water up up in the engine bay she uh she coughed a little bit and the belt started squealing but it came back so i keep mind uh not to do that you know what it was is i don't have the cover for the belt cover if i had the belt cover on there i'd have been fine i bet but uh we didn't so i gotta make sure i get that one on i think it's yeah it's sitting right there that's gotta go back on before i do another car wash with an underbody spray <laughs> anyway, we're surviving. Alright guys, so girl uh, gave me a scare there. All of a sudden I pull out of the car wash and the lights all quit working. Um, so I'm fumbling around for a little bit. Pull out the manual. I'm looking at, you know, fuses and stuff. Well, because all of a sudden, well, the blinkers wouldn't work, but the hazards would. And I started looking at fuses and, uh, the hazard relay is separate or the hazard fuse is separate from your running lights and so I started looking down here and I wiggled on the 20 amp shell comes back to life silly thing anyway we're alive now I got a spare 20 amp here I pulled out of the wipers just in case that fuse doesn't stay good but here we go we're gonna send her home now stupid thing well made her home it was fine uh, well actually I hit a bump in the road and it flickered twice other than that, it was fine. So I gotta, I gotta look at this fuse panel down there, kind of actually look over all the fuses and see what we uh, got going on there. Cause I actually haven't, I mean, I popped the panel open. I didn't see any flames or anything, but I'll have to actually like look at all the fuses, probably replace them all. We'll see. Actually, I, I probably won't replace them all, but we'll uh, at least get a good look at them. See how they all look, but yeah, made it home. She's running good. So look at that, I can shut the lights off, I can turn them on. Yes, you know, look at that. Oh. And then the speakers just kind of quit. Like I kind of hear it in the back, it popped out. And now the lights don't come on at all. Now if I go down here and I, that fuse call it for good this time. It might have. I'm gonna replace that fuse and see if they come back. I think I found the problem, guys. <laughs> you know what's funny is it didn't happen when I left the car. It should happen when I opened the door. <laughs> and then somebody's been in there before. The door harness is all messed up. <laughs> I 
That might have something to do with it. Let's go uh, look at the other side. That grill looks phenomenal. Let's deal with the vertical filling that's what you get right now. This side looks okay, I think. Yeah. I think this side's okay. It's just the side that got all fucked up. Which uh, makes sense, I guess. Carpet's dry down here, so water didn't get in through the top either. Top of the dash. Or like the windshield. Well, fucking... And I bet you that's why the door jar light comes on. And there's water in there too. So I bet you that's kind of shortened. Oh, well, there's our problem. I'm going to pull this uh, fuse anyway. You know what? Yep. So it came to life when I was wiggling the door on and off or open. So like it, it quit when I opened the door and I didn't realize till I opened the door. And then it kind of came back on when I was in and out of the door. I mean... that fuse is good so yeah we're gonna have to take the door harness apart so I'm gonna look at all the fuses anyway but uh that's our problem right there <laughs> I bet you that's a lot of our electrical problem well I wanted to see how it uh survived the car wash here sticker survived that's that's good well, the roof panels are all still on it Plates on it. I mean, yeah. It looks cleaner, I'll tell you that. Yeah. Really see the sparkle in it now that it's been scrubbed a little bit. Also see, yeah, so we, we can see all that, but you know, all the little dents, dings. Yeah. It uh, looks pretty good. Oh, now you can really see this red. Yeah, looks real good, all clean too. Grill's still intact. Yeah, it cleaned up real good, actually. I mean, it needs a paint job, but you know what's funny is all the all the dings are so even. It, it honestly doesn't look that bad. It really doesn't look bad. I don't I don't mind it. You know, it shows its age, but it's pretty. The body's straight. Yeah, I like I like that. That looks so good. Only I could now I just fix the windows, get rid of the yellow tape. I don't mind the plate sitting up there, actually. <laughs> Find some blue paint to kind of match that. Or do I leave it? I might just leave it. I'll probably leave it till I decide to repaint it or not eventually. Looks pretty good though, it's clean. Cleaned it real good. Like I said, now I just need to find a chrome bumper for it. 